favourite manager? Different reasons. Dario Grady, a crew, brilliant coach, um, set me on the path to, to becoming what I could become. Man manager, Dave Bassett, fabulous man manager, someone you'd want to play for. And then obviously Robbo and, and Graham Sooners, who I, I played for, all good in, in different ways. You know, Robbo was such a, an iconic player. There was a few. Gianluca Festa was, was tough. Nigel Pearson was tough. There was a lad called Gary Flickcroft at the Blackburn Rovers who was who was a tough competitor. And I'd probably say Gianluca Festa. He, he had a bit of um, bit of wildness about him as well. That made it a little bit more dangerous. <laughs> I don't know really, it's a difficult one because it'd probably be full backs I played out mostly on the right hand side. So you're looking at all the left backs, you know, you look at Stuart Pierce, who, who was a really unbelievable competitor. People like Des Walker, though, you, you know, you so quick, read the game well. I was fortunate enough to play against Ronaldinho when he was at Barcelona and he came over to Leicester for a pre season game and he was out of this world, even though I wasn't directly up against him. He was just sensational. I, d I don't think there's many intimidating ones now. I think that's been taken out of it. But, but certainly earlier in my career, you go down to the den at Millwall and that was a really intimidating one because it was really close and you could hear what everyone said and you always got the feeling that any second something could kick off. Um, Anfield always. Um, I enjoyed being back in Liverpool when I was in Liverpool. Loved playing at Goodison Park because my dad was a big Evertonian. Um, but Anfield for me, apart from you know Wembley, played at Cardiff in a in a cup final for Blackburn. They were terrific grounds, but the one you look forward to every season was Anfield. <laughs> Nigel Pearson was a really good captain of Forest. Um, he was a bully, but he was a good captain. You know he. You'd want him in the trenches with you. The same with Gary Flickcroft at Blackburn. You'd, you'd want him in the trenches with you. There was there was a lot of good good captains, but I'd, I'd probably pick them two out of them all. I think there was a time where I was probably knocking on the door, and and there was rumours flying about. Um, but I ended up getting injured in a, in a game against Crystal Palace for the squad that I thought I might have been called up for, but never was. And it never ever happened again, so it's something that, yeah, I wouldn't say it was a regret, but something that would have been really nice to do. I did have an opportunity to play for other countries, but decided not to. I was, was trying to wait, wait for England, um, but it never happened. Yeah, favourite goal was, was the first one. Um, just because of, of what it meant, and but I have got another one. It was um, against Reading, and it was it was favourite because of the Ali Brown in commentary. Ali was obviously a really good friend of mine, and, and I miss him massively. But his commentary made the goal. Like it was only you know a while later where I'd heard the commentary to go with the goal. My favourite Borough moment has to be the first goal. Years and years after I'd done it. Um, it's it's what everyone remembers me for and what everyone says to me. Liverpool, always. I've always been a Liverpool fan. Love Borat a bit, um, but Liverpool's my team. Oh, Favourite Borough home shirt. Um, I think the, the first one for the opening of the, the stadium. I think that's, yeah. for me, that shirt's probably the most iconic one. My favourite Borough away shirt was the blue one, the, the blue and dark blue stripes. That, that was always, or it, I mean, it, it's really close between the white one with the, with the blue stripe with sort of a blue cross on it. Yeah, them two were, were the ones that stick in my memory the most. Kenny Dalgleish and Sammy Lee. So I had two, again, Liverpool, there's a Liverpool theme, and Kenny Dalgleish. Was, was my ultimate hero, I think. But Sammy Lee had a real a real soft spot for, you know, worked really hard, he was a scouser. Uh, people used to call me Sammy when I played. Love me boxing, uh, I like a bit of boxing. Golf, love golf, um, snooker. I, I play quite a lot of sports. If I had to pick two, it'd probably be golf and, and boxing. Oh. Do you know what, it's Parmo now. Um, 
Growing up with Scouse was like my mum's Scouse is the best ever. But um, I think I've been here too long now. I've almost forgot what Scouse tastes like and I know what Palmos tastes like. Thank you.